Welcome back, guys, to my let's play of Jurassic Park the game, where we left off. Oh, oh, that's cool. <laughs> um, we're nearing the end of the game. We figured out this dumb puzzle and got to the, oh shoot, tuna, tuna? I'm just calling it the tuna fish. We're in the tuna fish area, and we're listening in on a phone call. Something seems a little fishy with it. Pun intended. Anywho, let's see what's going to happen. It's me, Jerry. Laura? Jerry, I hear you, and I'm glad you're here. This is gonna be a lot easier now. What have you been doing? We're gonna stop the bombing, Jerry. This island must be preserved. I have taken the remaining survivors hostage. There are four others, three Americans and one Costa Rican. I won't let them go unless the plans to bomb the island are completely rescinded. You have no right to hold us like this! Rights are just an ideological construct. Don't turn this into a, a philosophy debate. What rights do the dinosaurs have? Don't they have the right to survive? Do their rights outweigh any of ours? It is not our rights versus theirs. Our dinosaurs are phantoms, majestic as they may be, alive as they may be. We brought them into a world that is no longer prepared for them. We have a responsibility to keep them isolated and under rain for the safety of our ecosystem. It's not rights, it's responsibility. And we have a responsibility to preserve our creations and allow them a chance to survive on their own terms. Um... Billy, will InGen stop the bombing? Doubt it. InGen is not the one dropping bombs, it's the U.S. military. And the contingency is based around a biohazard cover story. She may just be delaying the inevitable. If you don't offer me some sort of guarantee that the island will be preserved, I will have to escalate matters. This is lunacy! Fine, put the military on the phone. Hello? Hello? You want to see contamination of the global ecosystem? Laura, Laura, please, listen to them. Listen to reason. You're being irrational. Nature is irrational. Rationalizations haven't gotten results. I think it's time to put matters back in nature's hands. I think she just lost it. Laura, there are other options here. Holding us against our will to save the dinosaurs is only one poorly thought out solution. You're smarter than that, Laura. I know, Jerry. I know what I'm doing. I clearly expressed the consequences of threatening this island. I scored a line in the sand that has been ignored and trampled over by InGen, by the government, and now I exercise my resolve. Laura? I'm going to free the Mosasaur. Are you mad? A land dinosaur paddling to the mainland is one thing, but you're talking about releasing an apex predator into over 70% of the global ecosystem. It's only one. It can be recaptured. Before it eats the last of the humpbacks? Oh, don't be dramatic. Laura, don't. <gasps> yeah, I think she lost it. Oh, we get to see a Mosasaurus. Plan B. But yeah, that's true, like, you won't want to release something like that in the ocean. You're gonna kill the entire, like, 
ocean ecosystem. Not too late. We can reverse this. No. I locked the system down. There's nothing you can do. I've opened the gates and the Mosasaur is free to leave. Laura, you have to No, Jerry, this isn't up for debate. We have to show in Jerry. He's, he's coming. It's like Jaws. That's right. What? You want and I told you so? I don't know about you, but I came here to make a phone call. Hello. This is William Yoder. ID 4122. Put me through to Haskell. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The U.S. Embassy. Report as follows. The island is completely overrun. Alpha team killed in action. Save one, myself. Bravo team killed in action. Two helicopters disabled. Two civilian casualties. I have access to a seaworthy boat and I will evacuate the remaining survivors. Yes, sir. The military may proceed. 90 minutes. Understood, sir. Didn't you warn them about the giant Godzilla like creature? That's, you know, in the water. What's happening? Who did you call? That's far enough. What? You're not coming with me. There's going to be a tragic accident, Jerry. Nima, we have everything we need. We're finishing this without them. What? No. What do you mean, no? We've got an agreement, remember? An agreement doesn't involve killing Jerry and Jess. What's going on? I'm sorry, Jerry. I was sent here to retrieve dinosaur embryos from InGen. I... I don't understand. You're... you're a corporate spy? Yes. Damn it, Nima! I trusted you! It's not like that. Yoder took the can. He wants it for himself. I'm trying to help you and Jess. What can? A can of shaving cream. It has a compartment to smuggle the embryos off the island. Damn it, Nima. You're blowing it! No, you are! Oscar put his faith in you. He may have been a devil, but he wore his sins on his arm for everyone to see. You, you are just a mask with nothing behind it. No, you can't do this! Don't you care? Don't you care about Oscar or Decap? That's enough! Everyone stay back! I'm gonna give you a sporting chance here. Billy, Once wait. I let go of the spoon, there ain't no coming back. Don't do this! Run! Nope, he did. And he jumped- oh, the, the girl stole the can, I was right. Totally right.
Is anybody hurt? Is everyone all right? You mean, besides being trapped in this bubble by that desgraciado, we're as good as dead. Don't say that. Somebody might, somebody will come for us. Oh, Jerry, the order left us here. He'll take the boat and not tell anyone about us. Maybe he won't take the boat. He has the canister. He knows where the boat is. He, uh, doesn't have the canister. What? I'm sorry. I promise not to steal anymore. Okay, but... that one's a freebie. Jerry, look! Oh, great. Just great. Why is it flooding? Must be the damage to the door. We're losing air pressure. This place will flood right up to the highest hole in the roof. Damn it! Even if we could open the door against the pressure, the whole rotunda is flooded. There's nowhere to go. Wait a second. I remember. Maybe there still is a way out. If we swim. Swim? swim? We won't make it 20 feet with that Mosasaur swimming around. Maybe. Look at that pipeline. It leads out of this lagoon. There are caves at the far end. Those caves connect to others that lead back to the beaches. We use the pipeline as cover. And you think we can hold our breath the whole way? Dad, look. There's diving gear. No, 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 no. We don't know the first thing about scuba diving. I do. What? We have to distract the Mosasaur. Figure something out and meet us back down here. Scuba diving? Come on, how could this be so complicated? I don't know thing one about diving. Dad, don't mess with the mixture valve. They're all preset. Since when do you know about diving? Remember those lessons you wouldn't let me take? Did your mother override my decision? Um, actually, Steve bought me lessons. It was a secret. Mom's boyfriend? Yeah. If it's any constellation, I got grounded and Steve slept on the couch for a week. What's so terrible about scuba diving lessons? Are you sure about these sea caves? I used to swim this lagoon as a child. With the air tanks, it'll be easy. Famous last words. Pardon? At this. Nothing. That's a good point. Wonder how long it'll take for this room to flood. Let's not find out, Dad. Do we need the wetsuits? The water should be warm. This deep and this time of the day, we would totally go hyperthermic. Don't worry, Dad. Neoprene makes everyone look good. It's not my modesty I'm worried about. Okay, well... How are you holding up, Jess? Okay, I guess. I'd feel a lot better if you weren't trapped in the bottom of the lagoon. Don't worry. We're going to get out of this. Well, we gotta, you know, do this, so... I'll be right back. Feeder program. Oh yeah, distract them with the fishies. That's a good idea. Hatchery B, pool four. That looks like the one scheduled for today's feeding. Yeah, we just let all those feeder fishies go. That ought to keep it busy. Changed my mind. These are rebreathers, and I've never actually used one. I'm not ready for this. Hey, you can do no. this. No. What if something goes wrong? I don't want to do this. I don't want anyone else to get hurt. No, no, no. It's okay, huh? No teenager should ever have to go through something like this. But look how far we've come. You've been so incredibly brave. You can do this. I will be with you every step of the way. I just, I just. I don't want you to go away. I'm so tired of you always going away. I know, honey, but I'm here right now, and I'm not going to leave you alone. I'll be here with you all the way. Now, what's the diver signal for okay? It's universal, duh. <laughs> right, right. Well, I promise to signal you whenever you check on me, okay? I'm scared. I am too, but I know we'll make it with your help. Okay, Jess, you ready? Yeah, let's do this. So, how do these things work? Well, these are closed circuit rebreathers. They look custom designed. 
This is the regulator. It's built into the mask. It wants to help you breathe. Don't fight it. And don't hold your breath. Okay, don't hold my breath. The tank is small, maybe 15 minutes of air. Is that enough? But it recycles the air you exhale. It should work for about 45 minutes. Try not to freak out, you'll use air faster. You might even mess up the CO2 scrubbers. That sounds bad. CO2 poisoning is totally bad. That's it. The suit's mostly automated. It'll keep you, like, buoyant and manage your oxygen. Oh, and try to swim casual. Swim casual? Don't spaz out. It attracts sharks. What about mosasaurs? Probably them, too. Turn around. All right, let's see how well I do at the swimming quick time events. I am excited, not gonna lie. Cause it's a giant dinosaur of swimming epicness. Ah, this is going to take me a while, isn't it? Come on. You can do this. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Ah. Oh, this is going to be a pain. It's going to, like... I think I'm not going for achievements or these dumb medals. I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. Oh. She's gonna puncture a tank, isn't she? Or attract, you know, the giant mosasaur. Oh, it's still. God damn it. Get over here. There we go. Yep, we're totally attracting the giant behemoth. There we go. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. I don't know how fast it actually swims, but I doubt we're going to- oh. Okay, apparently we made in time. Before, you know, he ate us. I'm really curious how fast it could swim compared to human swimming. Or scubas, I guess, with fins. It'll come back, don't worry. Just give it a second, it's gotta do the jaws thing. You know, just charge right ahead of you. See? Come back. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Let's try that again. He does have very determined eyes. Just, just for something very tiny food-wise. Okay, how did it work? Down. Oh, did it again. Oops. Oops, not not right. It was left. I'll try again. Try, try again. <laughs> oh, we should get it this time. It will either I'll either get it right or it'll dumb it down for me. One of the two.
Nope. There we go. See? Dumb down. <laughs> He's okay, never mind. He's like, screw it. Okay, what? Go now? What? <laughs> now? Okay, when the <laughs> what the when I'm supposed to leave? There we go. Okay, finally. Jeez. This is like the T Rex part. At like chapter one. Okay, but wait. And go now. Nope. I guess not. Try again. There we go. That's one giant fin. And he totally did the Kool-Aid man thing. Oh, but he's stuck. Oh. Poor oh never mind. He's got he's got reverse. Oh. Bye. <laughs> By the lighthouse. Yes, that must be it. But we're gonna have a tiny problem, aren't we? Wait, that's the. I don't see anyone on it. Boat. Maybe a dinosaur ate them. Maybe Billy ate them. Oh. Nope. Well, well, well. Fortune smiles upon the brave. Hey, Dad. I thought I'd worked everything out. Hadn't accounted for a little thief here. Well played, Jess. Well played. But then. I was sure I had buried my ticket off this island at the bottom of the sea. But, lo and behold, you slippery sons of bitches survived. Two dollars say wait, a T-Rex eats him. Did you, did you swim out of there? You bastard. What will your bosses think when they learn that you tried to murder us? But they won't learn about that. Because one way or another, you're not going to tell them. I just don't know how we got to this point, Nima. You were the last one of my kind I thought I could trust. Things didn't start out that way, but we had worked out a mutually beneficial deal! But now, I don't even have that. All that's left for me is that damn canister. Now hand it over, Missy. No, nice. that works. <laughs> Almost hurt. Oh, we got a fight. You looking for this? You know, things don't have to be this way. We'll kiss and make up and share this payout just like we planned. I am sorry I did not see your true self long ago. I could have saved us all a lot of trouble and kicked your ass to begin with. Oh, you're pretty good. 
Come on. Damn straight. You're a merc just like me. You got bills to pay? Are these two really worth all this? I am not like you. You are a monster. Worse than the things on this island. No more talk. Shut up and fight. Yep, that was wrong. All right. Playtime's over. Oops, wrong button. Actually, wouldn't the fence be on? Just a thought. I don't think it is. Oh, it is! Okay! Good to know. How shocking. Okay, you need to get a woman. All of a sudden. Damn it. Oh. That works. Well, let's just have it. You wanna be the hero? Just you wanna break our deal. Do you feel bad? Oh my god. Stop! You wanna make new friends? Yoder! Kirx? Kirx. Ah! So does he get eaten by a dinosaur? Does he get eaten by one? Oh, I hope so. Oh, he wants to join the party. He's like, I heard noises. Are you guys having a party? I want to join too. He's totally gonna get eaten. <laughs> Give him a hug. There we go. That was a big hug. Sorry about that canister. I, I don't think you're really important. Oh, that's not gonna be effective.
way, so I'm supposed to find a way out. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, wait, I see something. No, I don't. Oh, that works. Oh, ouch. Oh, 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 his groin. Oh, oh, that's gonna <laughs> hurt down there. Oh, anywho. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, there we go. We can see the groin murder part. Oh, 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 okay. We're gonna try this again. Him in, his, in his dreams for the rest of his life. Mashing, button mashing. There we go. Bye. Looks like he's visiting you. We'll, we'll send you postcards, okay? Just don't eat the pigeon. Dallas with us. We'll find a way to get you and your Maraki. Is there money How much on the boat? Did you say those embryos were worth? Ah! <laughs> All right. So that's the end of Jurassic Park the game. Yep, we survived. Yep. Uh, what did I think of it? It, you tell, like I said earlier, it's definitely the black sheep of the Telltale series. It got better. Like, I didn't really care for episode one and two. Three was okay. Four I really enjoyed. But I think because it started to show everyone's story and people's true colors. And this game definitely emphasizes on... The whole, the greed part of it, because uh, the doctor ha was greedy in the fact that she wanted to preserve the doc the dinosaurs and the go extreme lengths of destroying ecosystems to preserve an uh, ecosystem that shouldn't be around. Um, and then the mercenaries, once again, greed. They, I thought they would have survived. Like, well, I forget his name. The gentleman that died by the raptors. I wonder if he if he would have lived, if he would actually help them get out and not get greedy by that can. I I don't think he would, but I doubt. I don't know. Um, but yeah, story wise, it it wasn't bad. I don't think this is actually really a part of the Jurassic World's like Jurassic series as a whole. Um, just because they they mentioned they were gonna blow up the island. 
but we know it- I don't believe it actually happens. I- yeah, the island is still around and all that fun stuff. So, yeah, derp. <laughs> Sorry, brain fart. Of course the island's still around. It shows up in Jurassic World. Derp. Sorry, that was terrible. Because, yeah, they, they totally go back to Jurassic Park in the in the Jurassic World, so we know this doesn't really have canon to the, the, the movies. It does and it doesn't. Like, they try to connect, like, the what happened afterwards. Um, but, yeah, it... It, yeah, it doesn't really have much canon, like, it's just that afterthought, just the add into the series, but you never really hear much about these characters in the movies, or, from my knowledge, in the books. Um, so this is kind of just on its own kind of thing. I guess, in a sense of, like, those, um, just a spin-off, a what-if story, I guess, a side story. Um... It's an interesting one. I, I like, like, it's it's enjoyable, but the... I just wish there was more. Like, not more in the sense of, like, story-wise. I just wish... Less quick time, more being a point-and-click. Like, we could have took that book and some of those codes instead of sticking on the board and use those and combining items. Like, it would have been nice to kind of go back to kind of what Telltale does, or even like if they did this game after they did The Walking Dead and after where they had the consequences, possibly combining, well they, they kind of combine quick time anyways and the consequences in some of the games, in, like newer games anyways, so I guess we have to thank, be thankful for this one to be come out, for Telltale to kind of learn their lesson and to kind of expand further, because you have to think about it, if we didn't have this game we possibly would have never seen The Walking Dead, or if we did see The Walking Dead, it wouldn't be as great as the game we were seeing. Um, or even like the Game of Thrones or The Wolf Among Us, we wouldn't have seen those if they would have, you know, if they didn't learn the lesson and kind of tried different means and matters of making games. Or trying, well, not trying, but expanding on that. Sorry, I'm kind of rambling, but it is true. If this game didn't come out and they, if they didn't learn a lesson, who knows what would have happened. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it, but part, like I didn't really care for the quick time. I'm not a huge fan of quick time. Like, this game had way too much quick time for its own, like, reasons. Um, but anyway, I want to check out the journal. I haven't checked out this journal, so I'm curious... Oh, it's a, okay. Okay, so it's definitely documents. If you guys want to read these, by all means, pause. Take a gander. Um, but yeah. I'm curious about the, um, oh, what's that thing called? The, 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 the. Poisonous ones, which, I, which I'm actually a little heartbroken. I know they were in the game, but they didn't really explain Ban further on like encountering them and dealing with them. Oh, yeah, there, there's one of their teeth. Oh, no. Yeah, that's what they're called. The true, true dawn. Like, we didn't really get to fully expand on them, which is, is kind of kind of bums me out a bit. Oh, those are gophers. <laughs> Oh, his compies. Terrible. And our favorite little T Rex, and I hear an ice cream truck outside. There's totally an ice cream truck outside. I'm sorry, guys. Um, oh, look, Triceratops, our favorite. Well, my favorite. But yeah, oh, see, like, we didn't get to see any of those guys. Now, does this. Apply to all the episodes. If I go back to the previous episode, is the journal different or is it the same? I'm curious. Let's see. Nope, it's all the same. Okay. Well, there's not really much else to the game then. Um, I definitely want to buy. Well, I'm sad to say, like I bought this game full price when it first came out. I regret it. I honestly should have waited until the game was 
less than what it was priced at. Um, cause let's see. I put in about, let's say, recording time. What was it? Two, four, maybe like six, eight hours of this game. But that's not including how many times I had to go back to re-record when I was having issues recording. So I wouldn't recommend this full price. I don't even know what it's worth nowadays. I, I guess I could look it up on Steam. I think it's like 20 bucks. If it is, I, I'd go for maybe like 10. Get it on a Steam sale if you really want to play it. If not, just avoid this game, really. Watch a, watch a Let's Play like you are. Or if someone's streaming it, watch them while they're streaming it. That's, that's what I can recommend. Let's see. Oh, shit. No. Jurassic Park. Holy crap. Sorry, I just looked on Steam. Jurassic Park, the game, Canadian pricing is $32.99. That is way too much for this game. Holy crap. No, don't buy it full price. Don't buy it full price. Buy it when it's like 10 bucks. Holy crap. This game is BHS. It came out 2011. It's still 33. Ugh. Sorry, that's... I'm baffled. I'm gonna... I'm gonna stop rambling now. I gave my opinion. It's definitely... Story-wise is good, but it falls flat on everything else. Well, not everything else. Carriage designs of the dinosaurs are amazing. But I would not... I would watch someone play this. Watch a Let's Play. Save your money. Definitely that price. If you really want to add it to your Telltale collection or your point-and-click venture game like collection, get an on Steam sale. Buy it when it's like dirt cheap. Anywho. Thank you guys for watching my Let's Play of Jurassic Park the Game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want me to play any of the, other t any other the Telltale games, let me know in the comments section. If there's a game you want to recommend to me, give me, put it in the comments, I'll look into it. I do have one request I need to get on before it trains away. Kind of a hint. Um, but good chance it'll show up anyways. But anywho, I'm done rambling. Once again, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment subscribe, and please check out my other videos. With that, you guys have a good day. I am, I, I'm, I'm so baffled. I'm, I'm gonna go have a cup of coffee. Anyhow, see you guys in my next Let's Play. Bye!